J.J. Abrams fixed Star Wars. It's now amazing. Skywalker's great. <laughs> I'm just kidding, there was nothing to fix. The Last Jedi was fantastic. I'm Khaleesi Grimes82, and I am super pumped to talk about Rise of Skywalker. Going into this movie, there were a lot of rumors flying this way and cat. <laughs> Speaking of cats, I want to see that. That looks fucking amazing. I love Taylor Swift's pussy interpretation in that film. She looks like such a feisty feline. Oh, I just can't wait. But I digress. We got to talk about the rise of Skywalker and going into this, there were a lot of rumors that JJ was changing things. He maybe didn't really understand why Ryan Johnson's film was such a master craft vision of artwork, but it was. And so what he did was he changed it all. And oddly enough, I was cool with that. I didn't think I'd be cool with that because I really like the fact that Luke Skywalker became an old curmudgeon -y douchebag who died on a rock by himself after force projecting across the universe. No, I thought it was great. I love what they did to my hero. What J.J. Abrams has done though with the rise of Skywalker is he took everything that we loved about Return of the Jedi and he copied it again. Yes, there are new characters. Yes, there's new paint but the stakes are exactly the same and the outcome is pretty much the same too. Emperor Palpatine, <laughs> he's back baby. Darth Sidious is a man with a plan and that plan is to build a last order. It's a whole fleet of these Imperial Star Destroyers. They're planet killers. They have the technology from the Death Star built in, baked into each one of these things. So they can just fly by and boop, 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 pfft, 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 kill anything they want. When they blew up that planet that I didn't know the name of or had zero connection with, I was like, what the Sith did they just do? I was like, holy Sith, did they just blow that up with the Sith? Yeah, they did, and I, I just couldn't believe it. But I want to get serious for a second, I want to get somber for a second, because our Carrie Fish, our fish is back for one last time, for one last hurrah. It's been a long day without you, my fish. I said I was going to hold it together while I talked about this. <laughs> Why did I think I could? Carrie Fisher's back as our Princess Leia. <laughs> it's our Princess Leia. <laughs> In some very tasteful scenes, she is brought back to life only to be killed again. She's dead by the end of this film. She dies in a touching way. Small gripe, but I think there were only dose porgs in this film. I wanted more porgs. Need the porg. Gotta have that porg. Gotta get that porg, porg, porg. Porg, porg, porg. Gotta get that porg, porg, porg. Other things that I loved about this film that aren't talked about enough. How about the fact that our Han Solo's back for a little scene? Yeah, that's right. Harrison Ford himself jumped back in. He's not really a force ghost, but he is a ghost because he's he's dead as shit. But all I was thinking when he showed up was, I'm feeling like a star, can't stop my shine. I'm running through this climb, I can't bend the time. I'm so low, I'm riding so low, I'm riding so low, I'm riding so low, so low. Holy Jesus, this Kylo Ren Ray thing, this Kyle or this Raylo, I mean, it is magical stuff. They have this connection, both spiritually, forcefully, and sexually, that it's just palpable. It's palpatineable. Because <laughs> she's a palpatine. Yeah, that's right. She's a palpatine now. In the last film, she was no one. In this film, she's someone. And that someone can shoot lightning out of her fucking vagina. And I am super about that there's a lot of twists in this there's a lot of subversions of expectations which i love which are great which are love which are great like that they almost killed chewbacca and i almost didn't cry for 35 minutes straight but i did until it turned out he wasn't actually dead he was in another ship that we just didn't see <laughs> would have been nice if you used some of that jedi palpatine force there right if you would have kind of looked into that <laughs> you dumb bitch 
Mayor Ray Sue has a whole bunch of fighting in this one. She's using the lightsaber. She's sledding again down sand dunes, which are my favorite thing ever. Just, just a lot of stuff. She learns new force abilities that I didn't know were possible, like the force heal. She seems to have an invisible touch. She making in, and that's right, holy you, huh? Which she uses like 70 times in this. All great, all terrific, because Baby Yoda, I think he can do it too. And if Baby Yoda can do it, so can Mary Sue. <laughs> I think my biggest gripe in this one is that we didn't get fair amount of time with Rose Tico! One of the best characters in the franchise! Her and Finn's relationship was completely thrown by the wayside and that just will not fly for me. Lando, who's also in this, who's also terrific. He's definitely the same character that we loved 60, 70 years ago. He's definitely that same guy. Looks the same, sounds the same. Yeah, I'm glad they brought him back. Glad I could rekindle that old flame. Now, Khaleesi, you stupid bitch. Does this have what we all are hoping? It has a lot of what everything in Hollywood should have a lot of. And yes, it does. It has plenty of it. It has a lot of it. Let me tell you what it is. It's strong female leads. And it's about time. The lightsaber battles are top tier. They're top notch. When they pull out that saber, my saber goes up. <laughs> I love Star Wars! We do get one touching scene with Luke again. He grabs the saber. Yells at Ray, kind of scolds her. He's like, hey, listen, bitch, we have a little bit more respect for these things. <laughs> uh, hits her in the face. I'm, I'm, that didn't happen. I'm joking. He threw it at Ryan Johnson's head. Because I'm pretty sure in the movie before, he was handed that same saber or, or a similar saber. And he's like, mm, nope. Well, what was that? You know, like, what? Now you respect it? Come on, man. She's just learning from you. Uh, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Those are my thoughts on the feature film. I'm probably gonna go out and see it another dozen or so times after, of course, I get to Cats, which I'm hoping to go to right now, report back to you. I can't wait. I'm definitely gonna see this movie and pay money for it. I think it looks phenomenal. I almost wish I could be at two places at once because I'd love to be at Cats right now and not doing this review, but I have a job to do. I wish I could be like Palpatine and just make a clone of myself or not myself, just a clone thing like make something that's ugly and crappy and shrivelly looking why didn't he make someone that looked cool instead of snoke snoke looks like a dried up turd looks like a raisin that was in the sun for a week if i could do that if i had that tech though i'd have another khaleesi right here doing the show and i could just go watch cats i did anyway all right i'll see you guys later <laughs>